I am at Peachy Road Farmers Market checking it out to see if they have any larger variety or lower prices than the Brookhaven Farmers Market that I was at the other week. I'm just using the one of the resources that I provided for you guys in my last video and I'll provide it again. The list of Atlanta and surrounding area farmers markets. Um, I'm not expecting this one to be any cheaper because it's still in a nicer area but <clears throat> from photos online it at least looks bigger so maybe there's some more variety here. I was really disappointed I told you guys last week that I couldn't really afford that on a regular basis but I'm looking for somewhere where I can get meat or some like spinach especially. I know I could get the other stuff from the grocery stores but I can't find baby spinach like that big tub of baby spinach or baby kale you can get from grocery stores I can only find that in plastic like the only spinach they offer that's in a bunch is like the big stuff and it's not a lot so and it still has a twisty tie around it it's plastic so I'm trying to find a source that does that like obviously there's some things I can get from the grocery store that don't come in plastic and I can use my reusable produce bags but again farmers market was too expensive so I was trying to I was trying to brainstorm and I'm like well I'm just gonna check out some more not all every farmers markets the same I should at least check out you know maybe five or six in the area before I give up completely on that idea and I want to find something for you guys as well the, for those of you that live in Atlanta that are also wanting to find a less plastic based lifestyle so we'll see what this one has to offer and then I will be going to a couple more during the week. I found out there's a few that are held on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays I think during the week which is super cool for my schedule. Um, so I'll be checking out a couple of those as well as well as the Marta markets which are in a Marta station which is our train system here if you aren't from Atlanta and I think that's super cool because I live a mile from Marta so I can just hop on the train, take it to another station, go to a farmer's market. Woohoo! We'll see what it's like. But yeah, let's see what the Peachtree Road Farmer's Market's got to offer. So this one was the same. I mean, not the same. It was a little different. This one had a little bit more variety of produce, which was nice. And they actually had some meat vendors here. So one guy had a lot of different kinds of beef and another one had pork, chicken, rabbit. So they had several options. But I found out in talking to this one guy that the prices that I thought, oh my god, six dollars, that's not bad, it's six dollars a pound. So these prices were per pound. So essentially it came out to the same cost as the other farmer's market where it was twenty dollars for a whole chicken. The meat prices are basically the same. The vegetable and, pro and fruit prices, they were roughly the same. Like I found a bunch of kale for three dollars instead of four dollars. Um, but still, like it's a dollar at the store, right? So. I got to talking to this meat guy and he had a reason why the chicken is so expensive so I thought I would share that with you guys today. Why is it so expensive to get a chicken from the it's, farmer's it's market? It's because the cost of uh, maintaining and raising and then buying the feed, feed for to raise organically to get non-soy, non-GMO, healthy grain feed is very expensive and it also requires us to drive uh, about 10 hours, it's a 10 hour round trip pick up the feed, bring it back, unload it, and then all the manual labor that goes into raising the chickens, it just really increases the price to make it almost ridiculously expensive in some cases. Now if we could grow it ourselves and, and, and mill it ourselves and do all that, that would be one thing, but then that costs so much overhead that for us to build that facility, we'd still end up charging a ridiculous amount right. just to be able to break even. And so that's why any organic meat, if it's truly organic, if you're truly putting the time into growing it, that's why it's going to cost so much. But what about the, what you wrap the chicken in? Because that's in plastic, that right? Is, when we actually wrap from the processing mm -hmm. and do like the, the, the freezer bag, 
bags mm -hmm. up under the vacuum seal. There's no way to change that. There's no way to change way that. To That's what they found to be the, the most, most efficient way. Mm -hmm. Now, if you were doing an on, on farm process, you could wrap it however you want. You could wrap gotcha. it in saran wrap, you could wrap it in paper wrap. But when you process on a larger scale, that's just what they do. Gotcha. So if I was to get like meat from, if I wanted to get meat that wasn't in plastic, would I have to go directly to the farm and like get it? Yeah, and that's that's a farm by farm thing. So gotcha. farms offer the on farm processing where you can come in and say, hey, I just need ten chickens. I'll pay for them live. You'd have to buy the chickens live, and then the farm can process them for you as a courtesy. Gotcha. But when you come to a market like this, everything is required to be USDA inspected, certified, mm -hmm. and stamped. And so that's where that plastic comes in. Gotcha. So it goes back a lot to the politics and whatnot of okay. the Georgia agricultural system and whatnot. Okay. It's really their decision. They make the rules and then we kind of have to abide by them okay. in order to be able to sell them. So as you can see, there's a reason why these are so expensive. They do a whole lot of shit in order to get this chicken well fed and raised properly and packaged. And there's really no way to get this stuff very easily without plastic. Uh, probably the best option is at the grocery store behind the meat counter where they've got it fresh. Lord knows it probably comes in plastic to the meat counter, but at least from the meat counter, it doesn't feel like it's in plastic, it feels fresh, I don't know. But the problem with that for me is they don't really, at least at the grocery stores that I regular, they don't really have organic or pasture-raised chicken behind that counter. It's just regular, huge, hormone-infested chicken. So that's not really an option either. The best thing really would be to find a farm that would allow me to bring my own containers and have a giant freezer and just go buy it in bulk so I can get a better price from a farm, maybe. And maybe because I drive to them and bring my own packaging and stuff maybe it would not be twenty dollars per chicken and if I bought a bunch of them you know but again I'm in Atlanta where am I gonna farm a farm how many times a year am I gonna have to do this this really requires a entire lifestyle change to go completely plastic free for sure it's not or vegetarian one of those but I'm not vegetarian I need I feel like I need meat in order to feel good um, and there's just not an option there. Today I got one bunch of kale, one heirloom tomato, and one pack of one pound of sausage for $15. Doesn't seem as much as last time, but if you think about it, I literally got one tomato, cost me $2 and one bunch of kale was three dollars so and my sausage was ten so again expensive not really in my budget i do want to support local farms but i think some of this is at least possible to get at the grocery store with my reusable produce bags and still be plastic free and now that i found out that there's not really a way to get chicken without plastic wrap around it then this is really just a political thing, to be honest, because farmers would do that if they could, but they have to follow the regulations, and like the guy said, it's just not really a possible thing. And when I was in Guatemala, you could get, there were stacks of chicken and meat hanging, and it seemed completely unsanitary, but you could totally just get a chicken, put it in your own bag if you brought a bag, and not use any plastic which is super cool but they don't have regulations there you could easily get sick off of something honestly I never got sick off of that kind of thing because you usually cook the meat like the things you get sick off is like produce or something when people didn't wash their hands and handle the food before giving it to you you didn't get sick because the meat was sitting out in a like you know if meat's gone bad so I guess I'm gonna have to move to Guatemala to be plastic free. I don't know. It's hard. I'm gonna keep looking. If you've been enjoying my
videos, please share with all your friends and tell them to hit subscribe too. See you later.